Okay, here we are reviewing a phone. I got it apart just to show you something first. But this, this is the Samsung T528G. And it's straight talk as a carrier. And it's a dog. Ruff, ruff, ruff. I'll explain why, but I'm just going to show you one cool thing. See this mark in here that's green? If that's a different color, that tells whether the phone's been wet. That was one of the questions they asked me when I had trouble with this phone. I'll tell you, I bought this phone used from someone. My uh, purpose was to get a phone that would do Wi-Fi, that would connect directly up to Wi-Fi. So I spent $30 on this used phone. It looked like it hadn't been practically used at all. And so I proceeded to uh, get it activated. So I got it activated through uh, Straight Talk, which is Walmart. And uh, uh, the first phone, that phone I had, worked reasonably well. And then uh, uh, they didn't like it. Evidently, it wasn't tracking the minutes. And so they said, uh, do this to the phone. I did it to the phone. It stopped working. They said, oh, gee, you have to send the phone back in. So I sent that phone back in. Well, each time, this is the third phone, the third phone even still had this original problem, which makes this phone, to me at least, absolutely useless as a phone. And uh, what happens is, with this phone, is when you try to dial it, uh, you can dial a phone number, okay, but if you dial a phone number with a menu, uh, it just starts popping in random numbers. So after you di di dialed, say you dial an 800 numberly, 800, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or something, and then it said press menu number 1. You press 1, and then you start getting these other random numbers. Or you press 1, you get 4. Uh, so they were like the first time, uh, they were like, oh, no problem, just reset the phone. I'm trying to, this was, I'm using the phone trying to, my car broke down, trying to get AAA, and, uh, I get uh, I, these numbers are blinking while I, are going off while I'm trying to talk to the guy. I did manage to get AAA, but he's having trouble hearing me because of this thing's going beep 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 all the time I'm trying to talk. So anyway, the first time Straight Talk says, "Oh no problem, just reset the phone," and I'm trying to explain to them I just can't always take the phone apart, put the battery back in, do something stupid when I want to use my phone. But they thought. They thought that was a good idea, I guess. So, uh, anyway, they swapped their film out within a month. This is the third, third phone I had, and basically I gave up. Uh, so my conclusion is that this, this phone can't work. Uh, they promised me the last one they'd send me would be new, but of course it wasn't. They were all refurbished phones. And the only thing it does do is it does go on the internet, and it does have a better camera than my Net 10 phone had. Uh, it takes horrible movies. They're way too low resolution. But it, it does take decent stills in low level light. I'll put some stills on there for you. And uh, you can post to Facebook with it a photo I take if I'm by a Wi-Fi spot. Uh, you could on uh, when it was in service too. Their service plan had something like a uh, thousand minutes and 30 megabytes of data for $30 a month or something crazy like that. And uh, I thought that was going to be fine, but uh, like I say, uh, Straight Talk could get, never resolve getting the phone to work, so I couldn't use it for phone calling. Uh, and also, uh, Samsung and Straight Talk are extremely limited in what uh, they'll let you download for the phone. Uh, it's a Java-based phone, which makes it a not really smartphone. Makes it thinking about being smart, but it isn't. Uh, and Samsung's and uh, Clear Talk have it all locked up, so you can only purchase their few apps. Which uh, they make it sound like there's a lot of apps, but I didn't see a lot of apps. There are some things on here. Now look at this. Uh, uh, the battery. <laughs> My screen's dead here. Well, anyway, I'll uh, 
I'll recharge the battery so I can show you some things with the screen but my overall impression of the phone is it's useless as a phone it's okay as a camera if you're talking about camera phones especially when you're doing outdoor things and uh, I guess it's good for recording voice into uh, when you're near uh, it, the internet you can uh, go on and it, it go on to Wi-Fi it has a limited Facebook browser it has a regular browser that again is limited it's Java based and like I say there's all oh, there's a screen came back on there's all kinds of uh, uh, Java based uh, apps you can get but this phone won't let you download and use any of them and it's funny I even went to the trouble of which I guess is not legal someone told me I had it I paid to get the unlock code so I unlocked it which means nothing I guess it means I could put another carrier chip in there but still that wouldn't help because the phone still doesn't function properly and unlocking it didn't allow me to add any more uh, uh, programs to it or anything so there you have the Samsung T528G and ClearTalk both I would say unusable for a phone I still use it once in a while for the camera or for the internet but uh, it's very, very limited with the internet what you can do with it so there we are Okay, I know this is sideways, but this is the only way with this camera, movie camera, I'm going to be able to show you the, uh, the screens. But you have the dial screen, like I say, and then you go to do some more numbers in your number, and it goes crazy on you. Uh, over here we have, uh, we can go on Wi-Fi. We press the Wi-Fi button. We can search for a connection. And there's my house there. I can click on it. I've already got my password in there. Maybe I can do it this way. Okay, good. Connect. Okay, it's connected. Now I can go back. Uh, and let's go on Facebook. It's funny when you come up to Facebook it's the old it's old you always have to hit refresh to get what's on there now there you go so you can see I can do Facebook I can look at my messages there's all the friends and then I can uh, I've got a inbox and everything uh, it does have a browser Let's try that out. Yeah, let's try that out. It goes to the track phone thing and I get some errors with this so I have to I try to get to Google as quick as I can so that I can uh, oh here's just a page I was looking at what your ideal weight is. So you can do some browsing uh, but the prints very small so that's why I say it's kind of a limited uh, browser works as an alarm clock funny thing it doesn't have a FM radio put in it like my net 10 phone did uh, which is too bad let's just go back exit browser yes there's uh, you can see the prepaid the contacts messages uh, you could send text mails and then you know that wasn't the easiest thing to do either uh, reply uh, you could uh, you could turn the screen to use the, the keyboard differently let me try to show you that if it's gonna let me We'll hit reply there if we turn it this way no it's not gonna oh there there you have the n numbers where you just cycle through all the numbers here 
you turn it and you get a keyboard, but I'll tell you, it's very hard to, like, I'll try to put the word good in. G, O, O, D. Oh, I got it that time. There's a predictive text. You can turn that on and off. But I just found that it was too easy to hit the wrong letters. You can turn this T9 off or not, the predictive text. Save the drafts. No, let's go back. And so anyway, you got some uh, game thing, tools. It's got a calculator in there. Uh, applications, uh, like a, the one application I got it to load doesn't work. The one I put on, the f a free one. Um, we'll go back, see if we can see anything else. The camera, it has a movie camera or uh, a still camera. One thing it does that it does eh, halfway decent is it, it will stitch together a panoramic for you. And as long as you sharpen it afterwards, it's not too bad. So it does give the option of doing that. That's not too bad. Uh, what else did we get here? And we got a whole little scream of things. Email, video, pictures, alarm, settings, sound profile. But anyway, that's too bad because it's uh, the concepts there, but the phone just doesn't work. And I don't know if they all don't work or just the ones that uh, Straight Talk has. But my estimation is this phone is as a phone is is worthless. And so of course I didn't get any more minutes on it. Now it's just a it's just a toy. So there you go. That's Mike Kennedy M005 Kennedy saying, don't buy one. <laughs>